Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scratch and Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today I have another exciting new Cricut product uh, to show you, and that is the new Cricut printable magnet sheets. Um, this is an eight and a half by eleven package, and it comes with um, three sheets of the printable magnet. And this is to use with the Cricut Explore machine. Uh, and the print and cut feature and you're going to be able to make all kinds of wonderful things with this um, and I'm going to show you a couple of projects that I worked on with the material but I wanted to give you a few pointers about using this product with your Cricut Explorer and getting it to print correctly and so forth so you would set up whatever images you want just like you would in Cricut Design Space for any print and cut project however when you go to put this material into, and don't get fooled, this is a liner sheet that's between the magnet sheets, okay? So here is the magnet sheet, and it has a black backing on it, which is the magnet part, <laughs> and then it has, and then the front of it's white, and that is what it prints on, okay? So when I put this into my printer, I use an HP 5660. What I and I have a tray, um, not a bypass tray. I have an actual tray that pulls out on the bottom of the machine. I flipped this around and put it face down in the printer tray, just like I do when I use the Cricut printable vinyl in the Cricut uh, uh, sticker sheets. And then you want to adjust your printer setting so that it's going to pick up a little bit heavier material. So I usually set mine on a glossy uh, brochure finish and because this is a little bit slick and I've just found that the rollers grab it a little easier when I do that. And so I'm going to put this in my printer tray this direction. It's going to go through my printer and then it comes up this way through the printer and flips over and this is the part that gets printed on. Okay. So, depending upon your printer, you know which way you need to feed your material, but you're going to be really unhappy if you try to do the print and cut on this black side, because that's the magnetic side and it's not going to print on that and stay, it'll smear. This um, material is made only for inkjet printers. It is not made to be put into, into a laser printer, so you do need to use the inkjet printers to be able to use this machine. Okay, so um, like I said, it comes with three in a package, and uh, you're able to cut it with your Cricut Explore machine, and it's for the print and cut feature. So let me show you a project. I decided that what I wanted to make, and I'll show you guys a little bit and see if you can see that. Um, I wanted to make this. Uh, a magnet for my dishwasher that says whether the dishes are clean or dirty so we can flip it around and then we know which is which and uh, it's a constant battle in my house about is the dishes clean or are they not clean um, and so I just thought that would be fun and I wanted to do it in the colors that are in my kitchen I haven't been able to find a magnet like this so it was really great to be able to customize one that matches the color scheme in my own kitchen um, the other images that I put on here is we have a granddaughter who just turned three and she is totally into anything with a princess and a prince on it. And so I thought it would be fun to add to make her some magnets that she can play with on the front of our refrigerator or on a magnetic board. And um, so I wanted to get the most out of my uh, material and I use Google Chrome so when you do print and cut I'm only able to get about five and a half inches this direction and eight inches this direction okay that's the printable area it has to be between the um, calibration marks that your Cricut Explorer is going to read and so I when I size this and put the printable images on here I made sure that they were within those borders so that it would cut correctly. Now remember when you do print and cut, you do it automatically has a bleed on it. Well, you have to take that bleed area into consideration when you're putting your project together 
on the mat, on the screen, because with the bleed, it actually makes the, this image a little bit larger than it's going to be when you cut it out, because then that way it shows no white um, and around the edges. And so that made a difference when I was putting my images together. I had to kind of futz with the sizing just a little bit. And then once I got it so that it would go to the screen, um, the print and cut screen all on one sheet and it didn't split like this out and then these on a separate sheet because I wanted to get the maximum amount of material on this printable sheet. Okay, once I got it set up, then I did select all in Cricut Design Space and so, uh, and then I did attach. So it, everything stayed where it was supposed to be and then when I sent it to my printer it printed all the all these images on one sheet and so um, that's a that's a tip for making sure you get the most out of your printable material is know which browser you're using and the and the amount of space that you can print with that particular browser um, Cricut has some online resources in their Cricut support area on their website that will give you a um, some information about print and cut and also in our Cricut. Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. Gosh, it's really late, and I'm sorry about this, but I was trying to get this video done. Um, we also have have some resources for you. There's a PDF that is everything to know about print and cut, and it's a great resource, and you might want to join our group, and it's in our file section, and then you would have that. Um, anyway, so once you get this printed, all right, then you need to put it on a mat to put it into your Cricut machine. Okay, I'm going to move this forward just so you guys can see this a little bit here. Okay, so I, if you look at the directions that are on, that are in the package, in the liner of the packaging, it tells you once your project design is complete, load a sheet of magnetic material in your inkjet printer, checking to ensure that it prints on the correct side. That's what I just told you guys. Follow the instructions in Design Space for doing the printing, print and cut feature. Match the top left corner of the magnet sheet with the print side up to the top left corner of your cutting mat and load it into your Cricut machine. Then it tells you to turn the Smart Set dial to Custom and then you're going to select Magnet Sheets, okay, and press Cut. Now what it does not tell you is that when you cut magnets in with the Cricut Explorer, you need you really need to have the deep cut blade. The other blade may not cut all the way through appropriately, and I'd hate for you to be disappointed. Um, so you want to have the black Cricut Explorer deep cut blade housing. So that has the deep cut blade, and you're going to have that into your A housing. So I've already taken my regular housing out, and I just have it. I tucked it safely over here in my um, bin and now I can get ready to do this now the other thing I wanted to tell you guys is I used the Cricut purple strong grip mat okay this mat is very very sticky I showed you this in another video when we were when we were talking about the um, the new Cricut uh, craft foam textured craft foam it is super sticky it is anything you put on here is not going to move while it's cutting and I wanted to make sure that that was the case when it was cutting this magnet sheet because this is kind of slick and I was a little concerned about it sliding around so I also used the Cricut strong grip mat for this for the magnetic sheets okay and I'm just going to line it up here And I want to make sure that I have it all lined up within my border up here, starting in the top left corner, like the direction said to do. Okay. And I, and I just take my hand and rub over it to make sure that it's evenly on here. I'm going to open up my machine again, and then I'm just going to do this like I would any other print and cut project. I'll hit load the mat it's going to load the mat once it loads the mat I have my dial set on the custom setting and so on your Cricut design space screen you'll see where it goes to where it says set and it asks you to pick a material 
just scroll down to that until you see where it says magnet sheets okay when you look at the settings it says magnet sheet heavy and magnet sheet light it's a point millimeter difference I'm just gonna pick the magnet sheet heavy just to make sure that it cuts all the way through using the deep cut blade and and now I'm going to click my button here that will um, send it to go cut okay as you can see it's gonna it's gonna scan for the print and cut just like it does if it's regular paper material and this will take a minute but I wanted to show you guys this in live action time so to speak so that you can see um, that this is how the print and cut feature works some of you may have not have tried print and cut yet if you haven't you're missing out uh, you can take any image in in Cricut um, and be able to use the flatten feature in your layers panel to turn those images all all of these images here were um, were just um, Cricut images from one of the cartridges and what I did was I just picked the one I wanted size it the way I wanted and in the layers panel I clicked flatten and then it turned that into a into a print and cut file okay once it turned it into a print and cut file then it flattened those images so that then it would actually print and so instead of cutting it out on paper um, it actually just printed it so that then I can do a print and cut image with it okay and you'll see that it's cutting it's going to take a couple of seconds for it to do the uh, magnet material is really fun because you could just make so many different things with it so like I made the refrigerator magnet cutting the circuit circle per perfectly so I'm going to unload my mat and close up my Cricut Explore machine here and get that out of our way and now I'm going to just pull up the printable the Cricut printable magnet sheet and I'm just being careful around the edges of those little princess images that I put on here okay so it cut it cut pretty cleanly as you can see here okay so there's the back and I'm just going to use my Cricut blade to take my magnet off okay the one thing that I did want to uh, mention is that it does say on the instructions that these are not to be wet. So I'm probably going to put a clear uh, piece of contact paper over this because I'm going to have this by the dishwasher. And you know what happens by the dishwasher? It gets wet, right? So I'm going to I'm going to actually cut out a, a circle of contact paper, clear contact paper, and put over this. So then I don't have to worry about it uh, being near the dishwasher. These little pieces will not um, be affected by that because we have a separate magnet board that my granddaughter plays with when she comes over. And I will show you that in just a moment. I'm just trying to get these off of here. So I've got the magnets off. We've got them printed. And... I'm going to show you how it works on a magnetic board because I happen to have one right here that is the one that my granddaughter uses when she comes over to play. And we have alphabets and all kinds of things that she uses when she does this. And as you can see, it is a magnetic board. Let me turn this so you guys can see it a little bit better. There you go. Um, so it's a magnetic board. It's actually one that uh, I sell in close to my heart. Uh, it's a great size and um, it has a nice frame on it and then this part is magnetic. It's also a chalkboard so she'll draw little things on here to go around where her princess and her prince are and her castle. 
um, so she'll be able to do all of that and then these come off really easily let me just take them off of here so this will be a lot of fun so you could create all kinds of things that is using the Cricut printable magnet sheets there is the back of the one that I made and um, these are these were done with this one for the dishwasher was done just using um, the new insert shapes in Cricut Design Space. I used two circles and uh, did a little bit of slicing, um, used a Cricut font, and then I just did a search and I wanted to have something that represented dishes, so I did a white plate and then the silverware, and that was from uh, images that I found in Cricut, and then I just laid it all out and um, flattened it, and I had my magnet for my dishwasher so I can turn it. If the dishes are dirty, it'll go up dirty side. If the dishes are clean, it'll go on the clean side. So I'm pretty jazzed about that. That'll match the colors in my kitchen. Anyway, so this is the new Cricut printable vinyl. It is available now at Cricut.com. I will put a link, post a link in the video for the resource for that. And also in case anyone's interested in this particular frame that I sell with at Close to My Heart, um, I will put the link for that because everybody always asks me about what resources I'm using. So I will put that on there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day and I will see you soon. Come follow us over at the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group or you can always find me at scrapmequickdesigns.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye.